Hey guys, Dr. Shook here. Hope you're doing well today. I have another very important topic to talk to you guys about, and I hope that, that many of you were able to join me on the webinar that we had on Thursday because we covered a ton of great information, and as of today or last night, it's, um, it's no longer available for you to view. But we will be doing another webinar, I think, in, in about um, one month. We're just going, going to uh, take an initial, this initial group of people that we're working with through um, the detoxification program. We're getting testing done for a lot of people right now. We're going to see if those people are candidates for our detoxification program. And then we're going to be working with just this initial enrolled group of 30 people or so, um, maybe a few more, maybe a few less, uh, going to go through our detoxification program using our advanced dietary strategies, our detoxification um, supplementation, which we've never... Um, implemented with a group like this before. So we're really excited and uh, look forward to working with uh, the people that are that are you know, part of that group. But what I'm going to keep doing is um, I'm going to keep teaching you guys a lot about these chemicals as I continue to learn about them. And so one of the things that we're going to talk about today is a very important important chemical that is found in a lot of different places. Okay, One of the places that it's found is in deodorant, but in particular antiperspirants. So you know the, 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 um, the deodorant that it's not actually deodorant, but it's, it's more about um, decreasing sweating. So the antiperspirants, um, they have this particular chemical in them. A lot of them do, not all of them. But they have this particular chemical that affects estrogen levels. Now it's really interesting because this particular chemical what it can do is it can inhibit or decrease an enzyme that helps to metabolize estrogens. So basically it can cause you to have higher estrogen levels. And if you're rubbing this, this deodorant under your arm that has this chemical in it, which is common in a lot of deodorants, it, it, what it might uh, actually be able to do is it's called sulfotransferase. It may decrease this, the activity of this enzyme causing estrogen levels to be higher. And we know that estrogen levels at high, you know, high estrogen levels over a prolonged period of time in the body are not good, that they can promote uh, cancers and uh, a lot of other problems. So this is a big deal, obviously. This is a, this is a big problem. So uh, does anyone know what I'm talking about? Anyone have any ideas of the chemical that I'm referring to? Now, I'll, I'll tell you guys, this chemical is also found in several other places. So let me share with you some of the other places. So you can also find this particular chemical in, it's very, very uh, common in health and beauty products because it helps to preserve it. It helps to prevent bacterial growth and fungal growth. Okay, so you're, you'll find that a lot of these things that are added are preservatives of some sort. It's also found in pharmaceuticals. It can be found in pharmaceuticals. It can be found in red wine, in iced tea, in fish and shellfish, dairy products, pancake syrup, grains, turkey meat products, and fruit products. Yeah, it's a lot of stuff, I know. But so in cosmetics, and in particular, in antiperspirant deodorants, this chemical may be contributing to breast cancer by its ability to inhibit an enzyme that helps you to break down estrogens. And so this is really, this is really uh, important. It's also a very strong inhibitor of mitochondrial function. So every cell in your body has this thing called the mitochondria that helps to produce energy. And this particular chemical has been shown to uh, be a strong inhibitor or decrease the function of the mitochondria which produces energy. So if you have if you have energy production issues, which how many people with thyroid dysfunction complain, the top complaint is they, they feel fatigued and worn out all the time. Might it be that you have a combination of chemical exposures and toxins in your body that are having multiple effects on your, your, your endocrine production, your thyroid hormone production, but also maybe on mitochondrial and energy promotion or production. I'm telling you that this is a bigger problem than anyone is aware of. I believe that from everything that I see in the literature, from the fact that we know that this stuff is everywhere in our environment, and that very, very few people are testing for it, and it's, it's, uh, it's, it's a huge, huge issue. This particular chemical, does anyone know what it is? 
Put it in the comments if you know what this chemical is, because this is what we're, I'm going to tell you guys in just a second. This, this chemical also has possible impact on circulating androgen action. So androgens are, are the, your, your um, like, like testosterone, androstenedione are considered androgens. They're your male sex hormones, or they're, they're not just in males, but they're, they're predominant, they're dominant hormones in males. They're found in males and females, just like estrogen's found in men, testosterone's found in men, but men should be more androgen dominant, like with testosterone at higher levels. Women should be more estrogen dominant, dominant with higher estrogens versus uh, androgens or testosterone. So this can have a possible impact on circulating androgen action, so it could decrease the physiological activity of these androgens. What, and basically what that could do is that could create more of an estrogen, a physiological dominance of estrogens. That's not good in men or women. This is a problem. So does anyone know what the chemical is? Anyone know? I know a lot of you have heard about this. It's in lotions, cosmetics, it's in a lot of different things. So we're going to talk about, in just a second, one of the things that you guys need to do, okay, to help minimize your exposure. Starts with a P. Anyone know? I know some of you know. Starts with a P. P A R A B E N. Paraben. Parabens. Do any of you know about parabens? I know you've. You should have heard about parabens. I hope you've heard about parabens. Parabens, okay? So parabens are found, like I said, could this chemical in deodorants, but primarily we're talking about antiperspirants, be contributing to the development of breast cancer. Parabens affect, they have this ability to affect estrogen levels by inhibiting or decreasing an enzyme that helps you to break down estrogens. Um, there's uh, some suggestion that putting it on could be contributing to breast cancer in the outer portion of the breast because these parabens may be able to go into the skin, decrease the enzyme activity, causing localized even higher estrogen levels because it could decrease the, sulfo tra the sulfotransferase activity, which is the enzyme we're talking about here. And so could this increase in breast cancers in the upper outer quadrant of the breast be associated with paraben? containing antiperspirants. I'm going to tell you where you need to go and look to check this out. It's, uh, it also strongly inhibits mitochondrial production, which are your energy producing parts of the cell. So if you're fatigued, guys, these are things we have to consider. We have to remove them from, remove them from our environment, remove them from everything that we can. We have to actively work on detoxifying these things from the body. That's what our detoxification program is about. If you want to learn about our detoxification program, then you need to be on the next webinar. Well, I'm going to be teaching you guys um, up leading up to the next webinar. I'm not positive on the date, but if you go to nomoretoxicbody.com, you can register for the webinar. We had a huge turnout, and um, <clears throat> I was very surprised at, at everyone that, that actually is getting testing. So, um, But it's a, it's, a, it's a good thing that you guys are becoming more aware of this. I'm going to keep teaching you, but if you want to learn more about how I would address this, <clears throat> taking people through a detoxification program, utilizing uh, specialized supplementation, then you can go to nomoretoxicbody.com and you can register for the webinar. As soon as, we, as soon as the webinar is, we've got a time nailed down, we will send out emails leading up to it, and you'll have another opportunity to get testing. We offer testing to people to get uh, toxic chemicals, uh, tested for cell cellular inflammation, um, exposure to toxic chemicals, and um, actually have an appointment with me for 30 minutes to review all this and discuss what all is going on. So that was part of the webinar. If you, if you want to have that opportunity, then when we have the next webinar, which the earliest will be 30 days, I can tell you for sure, and it might be 90 days, you can go to nomoretoxicbody.com and register for the webinar. If you are interested in trying to get some help, you know, more personalized help sooner than, than going to the webinar, you can go to drbradshook.com and look at the application for care and see if maybe we can work one-on-one. -on -one. I only work with one to four people per month one-on-one -on -one because I, we, we, I require people to get testing done if I'm going to work with you one-on-one -on -one so that we don't have to do a bunch of trial and error and guesswork. Okay, So I only work with one to four people one-on-one -on -one per month. We're working with people in groups and then I'm teaching. I'm constantly teaching. That's where I'm spending a lot of my time to teach you guys how to help yourself because our goal is, remember, to empower you to become more educated 
that you can be an active participant in your healthcare. You're not a passenger. You're actually an active participant with you know, thoughts and uh, input into your care. You know, you need to be curious. And so I'm going to keep teaching you guys so that you can be more involved. Okay, that's really important to me so, because that's how we're going to have to change the face of healthcare around the world. And that's, that's the, I think that's the only way that we're going to get people to be truly healthy on a massive scale because you can't work with me one-on-one. -on -one. Not everyone can work with me one-on-one. -on -one. There's not enough of me. There's not enough doctors, period, to help people through this. So we have to put more information into your hands so that you can be empowered or we have to work in, in groups to help people out. Okay, so that's, that's the mission. And I want to change one person's life at a time so that we can impact your family, your community, and ultimately the world. So guys, help us help other people. Share this information because I promise you, they're not going to hear this many other places. They're just not. And they're especially not going to see someone talking and teaching it in a video. So please help us help other people. And as always, you know, I really appreciate you guys spending your time with me and coming here to learn more about your health. Um, we're trying to do everything that we can to really empower you guys. And uh, I appreciate you spending your time with me. So anyway, if you guys have any questions, post them in the comments below. We will definitely try to answer them as much as we can. But if you want to learn more about my approach, oh, and I don't want to forget, um, where should you go to learn more about how to help yourself with like getting these things out of your deodorant and figuring out where and what what cosmetics might be bad? You want to go here. Can you guys see that? That's the ewg.org. Now that's the Environmental Working Group. Go there. There's a they have a section where you can search all of your cosmetics, all of your cleaning supplies. Go there, search out and get search your all your cosmetics, look at what's in there, see if they contain parabens and your your cosmetics and everything that you're using your personal care products. You want to get very low scores. So they'll they'll score it on a scale of 10 uh, 0 to 10. 10 being the highest score, the most potentially toxic. You want to have things that are as low as possible. So almost all of my self-care products are zeros or ones. I might have a two, but most of them are very, very low. And that's lotion, everything. You want to go to the to EWG. And guys, this is a volunteer, this organization, if if you know if you can and you can support them, then donate a little bit of money for the information that they're teaching you. Okay? Because what they're doing is they, they do a lot of work and investigation of um, toxins in our environment. Very good, very good group to support. Okay, so please do support the EWG. And um, if you have any questions, post them for me, and I'll do the best that I can to answer them. But guys, I hope this has helped you to better understand some of the toxins in the environment. As always, I've got more stuff to teach than I have time to teach. So I will very likely see you guys tomorrow with more information um, on some of the potential chemicals in our environment and potential exposures, where you can look out for these things so that you can be more empowered to help yourself, okay? So guys, if you want to learn more about my approach, just go to nomoretoxicbody.com and you can register for the next webinar as soon as we have it. We'll send out emails and then as soon as we have a solid date, I'll notify you, okay? So anyway, guys, hope, appreciate you so much. Hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day and I look forward to seeing you guys again tomorrow. Hey guys, Dr. Shook, thank you for viewing our videos. I hope they help you out. If you want to, just subscribe to our channel somewhere here. You can watch a video um, that YouTube's actually selected for you, so hopefully it'll help you out. If you need any other information or resources, just look in the description. We've got links to our website, to our nine lab test guidebook, and everything else that we do. I really appreciate you, and I hope you guys have a great day.